Hi everyone, I'm Wolvlox, and welcome back to the Minecraft world. Uh, not too much has happened since we've last played. Well, uh, just a little bit actually. Um, I finished uh, the new part of the town. Um, let's go to sleep first actually. Um, but I did I did finish the new part of the town, so I built our um, library. Um, and we have, uh, well, the Altar of the Phoenix was mostly finished. Um, when I worked on it last time, um, we got all the houses done, so we've expanded our village population just a little bit. Um, I think this is probably the final expansion I'm going to do to my village because it's really, really big now. Um, so let's, let's walk up here real quick. Uh, so we got this library over here. Um, cause as you know, librarians are... Probably one of the most useful villager types in Minecraft, mostly for their um, for their trading books, like mending for mending. Uh, but we got a copy of our map that we have in the castle. Um, we got some chisel bookshelves for for conveniently storing any trades, and then we got um, this is what I'm currently working on: um, grinding for all these books. That's kind of a in between project. Uh, it's a lot of books, but hopefully we'll be able to fill this all up, and it'll be a pretty nice looking library. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. I will check out the next thing. So we got these houses over here. This one, this so this house right here, um, I didn't really plan on adding it. Um, I just felt like it, uh, there, was, there was a space for it, so I felt like I should just add another house here. So uh, that's what I did. Uh, we got our church here. Ooh, I really like when um, when the snow villagers, uh, when they, like, when they're the cleric, because it, uh, they're, with their garb, it just looks so much better. Uh, the plains villagers are kind of boring. Because uh, they just got their really generic looking outfits. Uh, so I'm glad that the snow villagers somehow found their way into this village. Because um, I don't really know how they got here. Uh, we got that building over there. We'll check that out momentarily. So we got these uh, other uh, double deckers. Um, they're basically the same as those ones down there. Except I just was kind of lazy and didn't want to grab all the wool. Uh, well, I had some wool for this. So I, I mean, I at least wanted to make up for it. But... I thought it was okay if we just used brick for these. Um, so we got this uh, house over here. Let's check out the altar of the phoenix real quick. Um, I, I don't think it's changed uh, much. I don't remember uh, exactly what I showed, um, but it's you know we checked it out last time. Um, it's I don't think I really need to change anything with it. I I like um, I just like all the you know nature around it. Maybe it needs more trees, that kind of thing. But I think. Uh, the base of it is fine. Um, I try to make it, try to make the stones look a little bit natural, but I think I could work on that. These look a little off. I think they look. The roundness kind of looks weird. But I, but I saw, it's all right. I think, I think it's fine. But wait, let's, let's go check out this uh, house over here. Um, so this is uh, this house is a little bit further out from the village, um, because it's actually um, the house for my. For when my sister plays, um, she hasn't she hasn't gotten on yet. But I wanted her to I wanted to build her uh, like a, a pretty nice uh, house near my kingdom, so that you know when she does play, she doesn't spend all that time grinding. And we can you know go right into like uh, that's when we'd be able to do um like the uh, the pillager mansion or the woodland mansion. Um, that's when we'd be able to do that. So uh, if we walk into the house here, um, and we got this nice little fireplace. Um, and we got some artwork, you know, your basic stuff. But I wanted to make sure that there was a lookout tower. Because there's a really nice, because uh, there's always really nice views in Minecraft. Always, always, always. You can see the top of the castle just over there. It's pretty nice. Um, so, you know, um, I don't know if I'll light up any more of these areas. It's really expensive to light up all these areas with torches, um, as, as you might guess. But I really, I, it is nice to not have to have all the mobs spawn everywhere uh, and be able to just walk around and have fun. But uh, there's just some simple chest storage. This is not really that much to this house because um, I can share all my resources with my sister. But um, it's got it's very decorated with uh, <laughs> with my kingdom stuff, obviously, because um, my sister would be a royal knight because, of course, I am king. Um, I suppose she could have some other title, but she didn't want to build her own kingdom, so... Alright, um, so that's that's the buildings that I've worked on. 
Um, in terms of the nether exploration, um, so I've had, you know, the typical strategy for exploring the nether is, you know, just wander around. Hopefully you'll find another fortress. Um, I also have another stronghold. Um, but uh, it's not really possible with our nether spawn here. I'm going to put on my gold armor. We're going to head to the nether. Um, it's not really doable with our nether spawn because it's just it's just not really that great. Um, and I have been digging around in different directions trying to see if we can find another fortress or I don't really care for a bastion uh, for a bastion because I really just need blaze rod so we can uh, get on the path to the end um, but I, I've dug in pretty much every I try to dig in most of the directions a few hundred blocks out um, so you can see one of these paths here um, and I did them in some other directions but I still haven't been able to find another uh, or yeah another fortress um, and I, you know, I know there's a seed lookup. I know you can do the seed lookup thing. And one, I don't have access to slash seed because I'm, um, hello, guest, because uh, I'm not the operator of the of the realm. But also, um, I feel like that would be kind of cheating anyway, and it would kind of defeat the point of, uh, like you know, like the when we found that woodland mansion. Um, uh, I've never found a woodland mansion before. I I know I said that I never found one before. Just like. Even just in Minecraft, period, and to find one without using one of those villager maps is it's kind of nice. Uh, too bad there's no maps for the nether, though, because I really well, that would really be helpful. Um, so I think out of the directions that I started mining in, I think this one was the furthest I made it. See, I don't know what any of those blocks over there are. No, they just look like more. They just look more, more trees. Um, from that crimson forest. Oh, jeez. I really don't like gas. They're not really that hard to deal with. Um, especially with the diamond armor I have. But they just really make it not fun to want to explore open areas. Obviously, that's why they're there. But um, it doesn't make it that easy. So, okay. So, this area over here, we were bridging out over a lava ocean. And that seemed to be our most promising path towards maybe another fortress. Uh, or maybe not. Oh, yeah, this area over here. Okay. So, it's a, oh, boy. Yep. So, that's the problem is we kind of want to avoid ghasts and not have to deal with them. So, I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to mine up a little bit. And it looks like I mined right into another pathway. Yes, okay, so this is a, it's a cave we found, um, yeah, she's been a long, tedious mine looking for really any sign of a nether fortress. I, I mean, I'll, I'll take anything, I just really need the blaze rods. Um, so we got a basalt delta over here, you can see our lava ocean, not fun. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to see this. Um, this pickaxe in particular makes um, nether travel so easy. So we can just insta mine basically anything. Or we can insta mine all this nether rack. Hopefully we'll be able to get over the lava ocean. See, so I guess the scary thing is we don't know how far we're going. We can't see anything because we're mining at the nether roof. So let's just mine down a little bit. Just so we have an idea of where we are. Okay, okay. So kind of bridging over another part of the nether landmass. Just got to be careful not to dig directly below us and we'll be all right. Okay, um, I... Very precarious. I really wish we, I, I, I really wish we could just find one. Okay, at least we found some sort of interesting biome. I don't think I've seen that before. Or at least it's not uh, in a nearby part of our nearby area. I don't know what kind of I don't I don't remember what it's called. I see I, I'm also not really familiar with the nether update either. Um, I just haven't really made it that far in the nether. I've really just come for, you know, in previous playthroughs of Minecraft, I've just come to the 
Uh, it was before the Nether update, I think, actually. Uh, it was one other time when I played Minecraft with uh, my friend and we managed to beat the Ender Dragon. Um, I think that I think that was before the Nether update. Just before it. Just before it. Because I think we finished our play of the game right before the update came out. Um, and then so there's there's no really no reason to visit it. Um, is that no? That's just more basalt delta. See, there's like there's no sign of a stronghold, uh, uh, a fortress anywhere. Um, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna keep looking around for a little bit, and if I find anything, no, I will I'll be back. Um, so stay tuned. But I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for fortresses. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever, so I'll be back. Hi, everyone. It's been a good 30 minutes now, um, and I've been scouring the nether, trying to find a nether fortress, and we have still had no luck, so um, I think I'm going to shelve the nether for now, um, and hope luck. Well, um, that doesn't mean I won't work on it uh, on the side looking for a nether fortress. You see, I, I went into a uh, totally different direction, because... Um, the biome that we did find uh, didn't really have it. Uh, what we're looking for, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be gas shooting at us. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, no, we really couldn't find anything that we needed. Just die already. Thank you. So we're just gonna mine up these blocks real quick, and we're just gonna skedaddle on out of here. Um, our world spawn. So. I really don't know um, why I'm having so much trouble finding a nether fortress. It really shouldn't be that difficult. But um, So I'll keep working on that uh, on the side um, between episodes. Um, but I think next episode will probably be... Um, unless we find another fortress in between. Um, I think we will be heading to that trail ruin that we discovered earlier. And excavating that. Seeing what... Um, loot we can acquire from that uh, so if i head in this direction i should be heading back to my nether portal um uh rather disappointing nether run um i didn't see any other structures either if i if i had noticed a, a bastion I, I might have checked it out just because we've had um such fickle luck finding really anything at all um hopefully time will showcase more uh, nether fortresses, but that remains yet to be seen. So, um, let's take our gold helmet off here. Um, yeah, so I think next time we'll be heading to the Trail Ruin, um, which was, I believe, was at negative 312, 312. Uh, negative 312, negative 312. Um, so we'll be excavating that. Uh, we'll probably be building a little base around it just so that we have, you know, safe archaeology site. Um, I guess one other thing I did want to show uh, i don't know where my horse is uh so we'll just um run there real quick if we can um i did add an um a, another structure in the uh outskirts area over here wow there's a lot of nitwits around um kind of useless but it's all right um hopefully we can get over there quickly uh we'll just mine cart over there real we'll just mine cart real quick um Hopefully we'll get there real fast. Um. So. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. We were on the power grill. Uh. That's my luck. Okay. Um. So we built. Uh. You can see it over there. Actually. Uh. We built a church. We built another church for the um. For the outskirts area. Of course, we don't have uh blaze rods for a and um, brewing stand so that we can actually get more clerics around. I would say I would say next to librarians, they're kind of helpful because you can buy uh, Ender pearls from them. Uh, they used to be way more overpowered because you could buy Eyes of Enders from them, but they nerfed that. Um, probably for all those peaceful players out there who uh, are beating the game, uh, getting Eyes of Ender without even having to kill any mobs, and I guess that kind of broke the game. But yeah, nope. Uh, so we added another church. Um, I think that's um, all the building that uh, I'm going to do for the time being. Um, I had some other ideas for um, when we locate the stronghold and stuff like that. I guess we're going to be pushed back, but that's not a big deal. Um, so 
next time, like I said, we'll be probably going to the Trail of Ruin unless we find another fortress. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, uh, peace.